Hey, welcome back to Skill Tree. Booza. That I can't use. Uh. Yeah, you just wish you could uh, just separate the Molotov into the alcohol. Well, it's like all they like did was stick some just like electric garbage onto the side of it. It's like, yeah, that's the Molotov. They, why? Well, it kind of is. They they just like stuck like a oversized battery to the side of it with a receiver. It's like that is more complicated than an actual Molotov. It's just a rag. Well, I mean, it's a couple hundred years in the future, at least, Dan. <laughs> yeah, there aren't any rags around here. You see any rags? Where are you gonna get rags in space, Dan? Space rags. Rag? All right, space. What am I doing? I don't remember. I don't even remember what the fuck last happened. Oh wait, yeah, that's right. Squiggles is like gone now. Yeah, Squiggles is gone, and Taylor betrayed us. So we're gonna tailor her demise. <laughs> That, uh, it's kind of interesting how you just made that flow there for a second. Uh, okay, Scorcher, so... the hottest entertainment news. Yeah, we'll get on our level, Scorcher. Yeah, and entertainment news, um, oh, they made a Phoenix Wright anime. Well, I'm not really surprised. And it, from what I've heard, it's awful. Okay, because I knew you were gonna. You were starting there with like ah, I wasn't sure if you were gonna go awesome or awful. It. I've uh, heard only bad things because, as it was described to me, they take like everything verbatim from the first game, and just like put it directly into the anime. So it's like oh god, robot. Uh. So it's like, okay, Phoenix, now that you failed that question, now you have to go into your inventory and find something to contradict what the person is saying. It's like, god damn, you don't have to explain cross-examination. Wait, hold on. It's, they literally say, go into your inventory yeah, and find they, like, some? Yeah, they go, like, verbatim from, like, to tutorial of the, of the game. That is really fucking stupid. It is, uh, and it's a detriment to the show, and it's like, ugh. I, yeah. To be fair, I have not seen this, but this is what I've been told exclusively. Yeah, uh, fuck that. <laughs> uh, I, I like I've never really played Phoenix Wright, but uh, that even upsets me. You used to play Phoenix Wright, right, Dan? Oh yeah, I was a big fan of Phoenix Wright games. So. Uh, it's the only like narrative style games that I really like those kind of Japanese menu-based games that, for the most part, most of that in, in the genre of dating sims. Oh, like, uh... Like that hotful boyfriend that you and Quackers played. Yes, Quackers. <laughs> we have to keep up the illusion, Dan. Uh, share. Together smart... How much frickin' propaganda? Uh, is there any utility? Okay. Audio log! So, was that before or after this moment? Well, it'd have to be after. How else would he record it? Well, I mean, I'm not sure if this is like synthetics went crazy before this whole shit went down. Uh, or... it's after. It's like after, like, we knocked off Squiggles. Oh, okay. So, what the robots were just waiting for their time to rise? They were like, okay, guys. This is the moment. They're going to put all their resources to getting rid of the giant fucking black cat thing. And then okay. it's our time. We take over. And it just becomes iRobot. Alright, I don't know if I should have done that. Why not? Oh, because you might lose your stuff. Gimme. Give Gimme. Give no. There's no end. Oh. Let me in. Oh. Oh, this is going to be... Okay, they're only gonna let me into core if I gave them the guns, apparently. Ricardo, the way in that is really depressing. Wait, did you get rid of the flamethrower? Yep. Well, There's a weapon at him. 
I guess it's a good thing that Squiggles isn't a problem. Of course, I'm sure it's still going to be a problem at some point. I refuse to believe it's not coming back. Hmm. What am I? I miss. I miss Squiggles, Dan. Easy. It's fine, Adam. We'll get through this. I don't think I'll ever truly get over Squiggles, Dan. Try four nine thirty. Can I use that here? Doot. A deep. Crap. <laughs> you all, you already failed, Dan. Do a deep, do do da deep. All right, all right. Can I go in there? Open a door immediately. Look for another door. Genius. Right. Well, I mean, you know, you always feel like when you're supposed to go a direction that you should check everywhere but the direction you're supposed to go. Mm-hmm. That's how I feel. That's how you find secrets. Turn on. I not turn on. Save. All right. Now, if I remember correctly, this part of the game is gonna suck. Well, I mean, every time you've predicted a specific part would suck, it was fine. It was the parts you didn't predict that sucked. It that sucked. Yeah, this part's gonna suck. The part immediately after it's gonna suck a lot more. Then things will balance out a little, and then it gets super suck. Great. When when is the part when uh like you got up to originally? Uh we're getting there, but it's still a ways off. Uh what am I doing? Give me that. Just looking for scrap the steel, there isn't really much. There's nobody nearby. I just walk. Man, Ripley must have like really strong glutes to just be crouch walking all the time <laughs> if they're not strong already they will be by the end of this game i mean like think about that with like all of like the stealth games where you know crouching makes you go slower but it's more sneaky so you're always doing that i mean ripley almost feels like my skyrim character where uh or like my rogue from wow where the the sneaking has gotten to the point where you're actually faster while sneaking <laughs> than when you're just walking normally. And it's like, how the fuck does that make any sense? But, you know, it, it's the logic in these games sometimes, and Ripley's a good example of that. I, it seems like she was oddly prepared for this sort of shit, doesn't it? Yeah, she already knows how to build noisemakers and stuff. Uh, she she was collecting scrap before we got into trouble. Audio log. Right. It's cheap. There's something wrong with your synthetics. The team I requisitioned to acid strip lower habitation just stopped in their tracks. They brought something about a hazard containment order, tried to get into my control booth, and then just marched off. I know I always complain about those spooky bald bastards, but now I've got proof their wiring's faulty. I've got a meeting with your boss, Spedding, tomorrow, and I'm gonna kick some ass. So when he starts kicking your ass, well, it's coming from me. Transitory Some... ass kicking. Yeah, man. Fucking. That is some very angry back and forth that doesn't involve us at all. Nope. God, it's... The amount of, like, audio logs and stuff in video games are getting just freaking ridiculous because like who is keeping personal audio journals and just leaving them around all the time it didn't it doesn't really make any sense and there's like a separate fat recording device for each one yeah here it makes no sense because like it's not even portable uh hollow sales audio nothing but like it doesn't really make sense in well, it kind of makes sense in uh, Dead Space, because, like, half of those were transmissions. Uh, I feel like the only game where it felt unique was Bioshock. Yeah, I think Bioshock is what started to really popularize it, given it was done before Bioshock, but I feel Bioshock's success made it really... made it vogue. It felt more natural in Bioshock, and 
it it felt like something that would happen there because it was a, it was a real culture hub. Uh, this place has no fucking culture at all. It's just drab and disgusting. I know. It's just like. It's like working in like a huge strip mall in space. <laughs> uh, I would not wish that fate on my worst enemy. It's just all cheap businesses off. appealing to the lowest here. common denominator. Well, that's what Sieg Sins is, isn't it? It's just uh, the cheap knockoff of the better company, and the better company isn't really that much better to work for. Okay, I think I have to move fast here or else Ripley will turn into barbecue. Oh, uh, what, something heating up? Yeah, I turned something off, but it's only going to stay off for a little bit. Oh, I get it. You turned off the heat in this vent. That or the electricity, I, I don't know. This is going to be tight. Either way, it's bad. Sacrificed himself so I could get you. I've got to try. I thought he was a pretty nice guy for a Samuels was like the only person Ripley has really cared about this whole time. Well, he's the only one who showed her any like mild compassion. And that whole time, he still kept like a straight-faced, very uh, suppressed, like Hello, proper I British am not demeanor. A robot. He was like. Hello, Ripley. I understand why you're going on this mission. Beep boop beep beep boop boop. Uh, now, if I remember correctly, oh god, oh god, gas! I did not oh, remember correctly. Oh. The, <laughs> yeah, good job, Dan. If I remember correctly, walks into poison gas. Uh, uh yep, I remember correctly here. The the working Joes here are wearing. Uh, oh, I found a gas mask. Uh, they're wearing insulated suits, so this EMP mine, useless. Does nothing. Wow, they actually thought about that? Mm-hmm, because they're working in a place where there's a lot of electrical shit, so they have to be protected. Audio log. Man, these are just becoming gratuitous. Oh, fuck. I was like, what the hell just happened? Yeah, good job on your promotion, I guess. No one cares. Yeah, it seems someone did buy Sevastopol, which is what well, they wanted, so good news all around, except everybody's dead. Enjoy your shithole. <laughs> I mean, like, look at this place. Uh, fuck. I mean, like, there's gas everywhere. Jeez. Yeah. At least Ripley just, like, automatically puts on the thing. I don't have to worry about it. Oh, okay. I was, it seemed like you already had a very good understanding of how to use the gas mask. It's like, oh no, she just uses it. All right. Yeah. Whenever she would normally start taking damage from the gas, she just puts it on. It basically just automatically makes me immune to it. Yeah, that's convenient. Does it actually wear out? I do not believe so. Okay. Which is weird because in real life gas masks, they do wear out. The filters go bad. And another thing... It would wear out a lot faster than your flashlight, which does wear out in the game. Yeah, that's it, true. It wears out in, like, ten minutes or some shit. Yeah. Flashlights could last, like, days, at least. Okay. So. Oh, God, there's one right there. Maybe I can, maybe I can do it fast. Audio log. <laughs> that is still a really bad name. Oh, my God. Oh, okay. Whoa, whoa, what the fuck was that? <laughs> okay, I might have gotten a little confused by what I was doing there. That utility thing that I did in... Uh, 
at the computer terminal, I thought it was like activate this to progress through the level. And no, it was actually like a big electrical trap to set off. Like I overloaded the server banks and that just made the whole floor, which is all wet for some reason in the server banks <laughs> to just That's electrify. Very convenient. Yeah, but I think this will kill my robo buddy over there. Well, it killed the shit out of you. Yeah, let's see if it'll kill him. Even though he's full... Oh, hey, what's up, buddy? Don't Come mind on. us. Stop crouching! Stop crouching! God! Ripley is very determined to, uh, to work in those glutes. Okay, he's over there. God, Ripley, you just piss me off sometimes, girl. Sometimes. I'll run as much as I want. I'm not right now. I'm actually kind of speed walking, but still. Hey. Hey, what's up, buddy? <laughs> okay, I got two robots on my butt. Well, uh, I guess it's time to see if you can work under pressure. You have with Squiggles. Okay. Missing him yet? I'm trying to figure out what I'm doing here. They after me still. Doesn't look like it. The music stopped. I don't even. I really don't know what I'm doing. I'm just hacking things because it's giving me the option to. That uh, is about as good of an option as. Uh, dude, it's right. It's to the right of that one. Thank you. Oh boy. Yeah. Yeah, we, we got it, buddy. Okay, now I have to go to the servers and do the thing. How do I look at save station? Search left server main console. All right. Yeah. Yeah. Sorry, everybody. I ate some Mickey D's, and it's coming up all D's. Ooh. They love to see us smile. Uh, I. I'm addicted to that Monopoly game. Oh man, if if you win it, Dan, uh, Skill Tree is going to have a gold-plated audio room, just full just... of just golden arches. <laughs> we'll just have like we'll have two rings, one for each of us, and each one will be half of a golden McDonald's arch. Oh my God, this guy—he's so slow. Go. How does he not see you? Because I'm behind him. Yeah, but you'd think he would hear something. No, because I'm crouching. Oh, yeah, that makes you undetectable, of course. Come on, go in the yellow room. Oh, God. Alright. Okay. If I power these up, one of them should get. Ripley, don't talk. We're hiding. <laughs> I like how he didn't hear that. It'd be, it'd be so much funnier if he did hear that. Of course, it would be bullshit, but it would be hilarious. Alright. I don't think that was it. No. Hey! No! Oh, come on! Bye! Don't mind us, Mr. Robot. <sighs> At least, unlike Squiggles, I can easily outrun these guys. So I don't have to confront them. Are you... Do you have the weapons to confront them? I'm not sure. I think the stun rod might be able to take them out. But I don't know, and I don't want to use my stun round on them. Because they have the isolation hazmat suits. The alien isolation hazmat suits. <laughs> <laughs> uh, audio log. Oh my god, there's so many of them. It's annoying. Susan, he loves you. There, I did it. Okay, I did one on this side. Oh, jeez, two. Come on. Get out of here. Go! 
Come on. Wow. Ugh. That's really annoying. Hold on. I think I might be able to cheese him a little. I am all for some cheddar right now. Yeah, follow the noise. That's actually a viable strategy. Yeah, follow the noise. Yep, bye. Alright, access terminal. Do it quickly, I... do it quickly, do it quickly, do it quickly, do it fast. Don't get electrocuted. Hopefully, they're getting shocked to death. To robot death. They're getting blue to screened. Ah. Uh, well, no one's moving. Yeah, it seems like that did the trick. But then again, they don't move that much, so... Yeah! Yeah! You did it! I'll just loot them. Or not. <laughs> item maxed. God, it's like you can only hold, like, one item at a fucking time. Uh, well, it's just like, there's nothing I can build. I'm maxed out. Except on stun batons, but I can't make those. Well, that's disappointing. Well, actually, let's do a med kit. Top myself off. Those are actually useful now that you don't have to deal with squiggles who, like, one fucking hits you. Well, no, because, like, when I would use the flamethrower and they would still, like, charge me but not kill me, it takes off health. That's still kind of obnoxious for it to do. Yeah. It's obnoxious, but, you know, it's not a game over. Ah, uh, I miss Squiggles, Dan. I know, Adam. She left I, a I... big, scary, drippy hole in our heart. Yeah. And other internal organs. Alright, give me the... Give me the... Yeah. God, just stand up. <laughs> Fuck crouching. I don't even know why you were crouching at this point. Well, there's still some robots. Well, I guess we'll have to find out more next time on Skill Tree. Really? We're already at that point? We're past that point, yeah. Cool. Uh, so yeah, hopefully next episode we'll get into the core. Bye.